<laughs> well, you've done it. Well, we've kind of done it. We've reached double digits. Day 10 is today. And we're still nowhere closer to getting a right answer. We struck gold a little early and then kind of petered out to nothing. But I'm having a good time, and I'm, I hope you all are having a good time, too. And if you're not, sorry. I don't know. Day 10. I'm going to jump on in. All right, here we go. Yeah, here we go. That's right, here we go. Hey, quick question. Does anybody else have a problem telling Elijah Wood and Tommy McGuire apart? I mean, if you look at pictures of them. Oh, I just opened... I just opened 14. If you look at pictures of them, they're obviously completely different people. But when you're out looking at pictures of them, they're the same dude. All right, here we go. I accidentally opened day 14, and it's kind of sticking out of the box. There we go. Okay, so we're good. We got day 10. I got. Oh yeah. <laughs> you think I would know by now? Come on, dude. Okay. The glass. Another fairly dark alcohol. That's okay. And she's in. All right. Initial whiff. Bourbon again. Okie dokie. All right. So, well. <laughs> Two days in a row getting a bourbon. I'm, that's that's maybe I can redeem myself a little bit from yesterday because that was mildly embarrassing. But I'm already over it. See, that's a really mild nose. It still has those typical bourbon notes, but it's even more mild than the one yesterday. And I actually made a mistake. If you saw on the video, I said that uh, bullet was forty percent, and I was wrong. It's forty-five. Um, so hopefully, I won't make that mistake again. Yo. Whew, well, see, this is kind of spicy now that I took a big old, big old nose full of it. It's a little bit on the spicy side. I like it. I'm going to take a sip. All right, come back. Mmm. Mmm. She's a spicy gal. A lot more wood oak. Uh, this time. It almost tastes like Knob Creek. So I remember Knob Creek being really spicy, like heavy oak spice. And there's Knob Creek rye on the list, and it's a 50 percenter. That, ooh! I think I got some rye notes in there, which would make sense. They're usually, uh, mash bills usually do have rye involved, but Mm. Okay. I feel good. I'm gonna say Knob Creek Rye. Because I, I, my brain pulled out Knob Creek before I even remembered seeing it on the list. And this is a spicy gal, so it's, ABV is up there. So, and this Knob Creek Rye is 50%. I feel pretty good about this. Okay, let's do another, another sip. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Moment of truth. Oh, score. Sorry, okay, for, for what notes? I'm getting some, I'm getting your typical bourbon notes, but not as much of the sweet elements as you normally would, because that would make sense that it's rye, because the sweetness comes from corn. And rye whiskey doesn't have as much corn as bourbon whiskey would. So, and there's getting some herbal, some herbal notes into it as well. I, I feel confident. I do. But pride comes before the fall, eh? All right. Mm. As a score, that's delicious. That is really good. I'll give that an 8.8. .8. I enjoy that because I, I like the higher ABVs and look at the legs on her. That's Jackie Joyner Kersey right there. Uh, cool, yeah, 8.8. .8. I think it's Knob Creek Rye and 
I feel good about this. Although there is another rye, but no, I think it's not good. Come on, baby, come on, baby, come on, baby. Woo! Yes! Nailed it. Got it. All right, sorry. And Knob Creek Rye. Mmm. Oh, that makes me feel good, especially because I called the Knob Creek right at the very beginning. That's awesome. That is awesome. Double digits. <laughs> Freed. Two. Whiskey. Eight. Right on. All right, Big T and Gin. See you tomorrow.